uh, urban planning is a key component in climate change adaptation because first of all we have to uh, map risk areas to identify where really the people can be mostly affected by climate change impact. So we need uh, at the really early planning stage identify those areas can, that can be mo most affected, for example, by flooding, by landslides, uh, by you know, uh, all adverse uh, environmental uh, uh, consequences. And, uh, and then uh, uh, all these maps shall be included in a political process, policy process, uh, at, a, at a really urban uh, planning uh, uh, stage. So uh, it's really essential that politicians really embrace a new way of, of planning uh, urban areas in the future by taking the environmental and climate change component in the city planning uh, process. Brazil doesn't have, didn't have so many um, environmental catastrophes. So the risk perception in Brazil is still pretty low. Um, only recently we started to have, for example, like in, on January 2011, um, the strategy of, of the Serrana region here in, in, uh, in Rio de Janeiro, where uh, over a thousand people lost their lives because of landslides and heavy pre precipitations. So the risk perception, unfortunately today in Brazil, is still pretty low. So this doesn't allow politicians to include risk yet in city planning and urban planning. The key issue is to bring the same experience to many more municipalities and then to build awareness starting from something that happened that has been considered a national strategy. If you look at what happened in Fribourg in January 2001 and the disaster we had, it's very easy to see how the risk perception changed but only after the risk. Building uh, pressure from, from civil society is actually it's a long process because first of all, you need to create awareness and build capacity and make people understand what does it mean to adapt to climate change first of all and what is climate change in first instance. Then you can go forward and put pressure on local politicians. The climate change is a cost. So when we talk about investment, uh, unfortunately, we talk about climate change adaptation is an investment to either reduce the cost or to reconstruct something that's been destroyed. So it's very difficult to transform climate change in a true business and growth opportunity. The private sector will pass on the cost to the consumers. So if the private sector is going to be damaged somehow by climate change, it will gonna restructure the way it does the business. One thing that we can do is actually try to engage the private sector in smart ways, in such a way that it, it cost is not a huge burden to the population. The, the main thing of, of, of urban planning and climate change for me is, is we, we do have, we do need a, a step change really at the political level in terms of consciousness. Politicians shouldn't start thinking only on a four-year terms because afterwards they have to be something good and be appreciated by the population otherwise they won't be elected. They must be much more responsible.